Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another interesting video. All right, so before I get started, um, really quickly, I will be in Asheville, North Carolina, uh, May 23rd to the 25th. So if you wanna come and see me in Asheville, I will be there with other YouTube artists. That is gonna be for the Fluid Art Experience. And that's happening, as I mentioned, May 23rd to the 25th. You can email, no, not email. The information for that is on a website and that is www.fluidartexperience.com. And then last but not least, I will be in Fort Myers, Florida. Okay, and I will be there July 13th and 14th. And I will be doing classes with Cause Creations with Kathleen from Cause Creations. Um, registration to follow soon, but just wanted to let you guys know to save the date. Today's video is something I've never done before. And sometimes I just kind of like to come in the studio and try something new and not necessarily set up a camera and record or whatever, but every time I do that, which isn't often, I kick myself in the butt for it because I do something, I finish it, I post it on social media, and then I get, oh, is there a video for that? Oh, I love it, is there a video for that? And then my answer is no, and then I kick myself for not doing a video for it. So, that being said, I'm gonna tell you guys super quick what I'm doing, and then I'm literally going to throw some music on and I'm going to work on this piece in peace and quiet with my music playing in the background and just kind of working on it without having to concentrate about talking to you guys or you know whatever so you know sometimes I just kind of like to be in my zen place and do my thing so I will explain to you what I am doing though starting off with a wood board okay this is what it looks like it's just a wood panel forget the elephant pretend he's not there i'll tell you talk to you guys about that in a sec but these are just some wood panels um they are gotrick panels i get them from a local art store here in london called Bijons. um but for those of you in the u.s and everywhere else i'm sure jerry's blick um uh, there's another store, can't think of it, but you guys have lots of stores in the U.S. that you guys can find wooden panels in, Michael's too, I'm sure. So what I did with this is I, this is a 14 by 14 inch, and I primed it with gesso, three coats of gesso, okay, and then I did a black coat of black acrylic paint with my roller brush. If you want really, you know, see the entire you know, step-by-step -step process. I will link a video up here at the top of some other video that I've done where I've, you know, gotten this board ready and prepped for you guys on camera so that you can see it. And then what I did was I put a top coat of resin on this um, and I tinted it black with my black resin paste and that's what I have here, okay? So it is just the wooden board, whoop, the wooden board, and it's got a black clear, a black coat of resin, crystal resin, okay? So that is what I did with that, okay? Now, my thought here was to get a shape. It could be an animal, it could be a flower, it could be whatever you want it to be. I happen to have this extra piece from a long time ago. For those of you who are longtime viewers, you know, I used to get my wood lady to cut me out the rounds that a lot of you bought and some animal shapes. So I happened to have this kicking around in the garage. I remembered I had it. So this is what I'm using today. But I know if you can't find any animal shapes or whatever shape you may want at Hobby Lobby, that was the other store, um, you can do what I did here and print a silhouette um, off your printer, your computer, of any animal or shape that you want, and then you can use it as a template, okay? Template for what, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Oops, <laughs> put this down here. Now, if you watched a couple of my last videos, I told you guys I was working on a project with paint skins. So this is going to be that project. My idea here is to take my little husky 
and I'm going to make them super beautiful and colorful with my paint skins. So the idea is to take little pieces of paint skins, glue them on in different sections until he's completely covered and he's all wonderful and colorful. And then the idea is to slap them on the board in the center like so against this beautiful black background and then top coat it with a clear coat to seal them in. And then they, you will have the cutest rainbow colored, again, whatever your design might be, whether it's a animal, flowers, balloons, whatever, you know, or do some sort of landscape. You could do mountains and grass and whatever and use your corresponding paint color skins to do, you know, fill it in. So like I said, I've never done this before, so this is gonna be trial and error for me. But as you can see, I have sheets and sheets and sheets of paint skins here, okay? Now, I'm, they're just separated by piece of parchment paper. I made the mistake of throwing this in the cupboard on my, my baking rack, right? Because they're on a baking, baking rack like this. And a lot of them were ended up like that. And then I pulled the baking rack out this morning and they were all stuck together. And I lost a lot of paint skins. Um, and when I mean a lot, I mean like a lot. Like these are were all in the garbage because they were all stuck to get there's more. That's that's not even half. So I did lose a lot of paint skins. So keep in mind when you are storing paint skins, they cannot be touching each other. If they are even slightly touching each other like this, they are going to stick together and they are not going to come apart. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're storing your paint skins, okay? Because what I did was, oh, I'm like, oh, I'll pick up this sheet. And as soon as I picked it up, see how they moved? And so I was like, okay, and I put them here. And then they ended up like this, all stuck to close together, and then they got stuck. So keep, don't do the same mistake I did and lose paint skins because I was pretty bummed um, throwing all that away and cutting apart, you know, paint skins that were all stuck together. So make sure they are spread out like this, okay? So I am gonna stop talking in a minute and I'm basically going to do a time lapse of me covering, I'm gonna call him Juno. I'm gonna do a time lapse of me covering this pup. And um, when it's done and finished, I will show you guys the next step and we'll keep moving. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna stop talking, play some music, enjoy the music, don't enjoy the music, mute the music, I don't care. <laughs> but I'm going to sit and be zen and listen to my music on the radio while I'm doing this. So I will be back when I'm done.
tell you, I am like ridiculously exhausted. So as I was cutting away, um, first I had it up on the cups. And then if you've got like a cutting mat, this is like just this little utility knife kit from Marteza or Ateza. Um, I had it, I've had it for a while, but anyways, this is a cutting mat. So if you have a cutting mat, you can use the cutting mat and then cut, you know, like that. You saw me do that, but I actually found it easiest holding it in my hand and just scoring it as I went along. But please, for the love of goodness, don't cut yourself if you do it that way. Um, and like, it is ridiculously important to have a super sharp utility knife, um, because you know, you need a perfect clean cut. The tail was a pain in the butt, but I managed and there he is. Look at that. He's done. I'm so tired, but he looks so cool. He's so colorful. So there that is. Um, I'm gonna go take a break and um, I will come back tomorrow or whenever and I will do um, a final coat. Oh, well, you gotta give it time for the glue to really dry too, right? So look how cute that is, right? So I'm gonna put, hmm, what should I do? I think because he's not really flat, you know what I mean? So I think I might put a clear coat, slap him on top and put weights on him, like a weight just to keep him down, right? And so he'll stick to the resin, the clear coat. And then either I leave him as is. No, I wanna cover him. I might. Okay, I haven't figured it out yet. Again, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm either going to put another clear coat on top or I may spray varnish him, you know, in the garage so that he's got a protective coat on him. And I may leave him like that, actually. Maybe I will do that. Maybe I will just leave him like that and just spray coat, spray varnish him. Because I'm worried if I do a clear coat on top of him, I worry that the resin will fall off the sides and pool into like maybe some of these crevices here. So, you know, maybe I'll just leave them as is. Maybe I'll just spray him. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, in terms of here, like the edges, um, I'm thinking of doing gold marker. Gold or silver, I haven't figured it out. One or the other, but I'm gonna color the edge and then I'm gonna spray varnish him with my Windsor Newton spray varnish. That's what I'm gonna do. Anyways, I'm gonna ponder that while I'm resting and tomorrow when I come back to finish it off, I'll have made my decision. But until then, I'll be back.
right, everybody, down to the last final step here. I did do a few steps off camera, but I will tell you guys what I did. Um, I took the Husky out into the garage and I sprayed it with my Windsor and Newton gloss varnish, high gloss varnish. Okay, I did three coats on him uh, in the garage and I got this from Michaels. Um, you can use whatever varnish you want. I personally really, really like this one. I think I got it from Michaels. I don't know actually, because I bought it like really long time ago, but Windsor Newton high gloss varnish. So I sprayed them and then I put a clear coat of crystal resin on the black base and then I slapped the dog on top and let him dry and cure into the resin and now he is stuck on here um, and he is finally finished. Look how cute he is. The only thing left I have to do is peel the tape off the back, which I will do super quickly here on camera. Again, you just take your heat gun, you heat up the edges of your piece and then the tape will peel right off. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back. Look how clean the back is look at that perfect so there is my i'm trying to get my studio light out of the way here hold on that reflection that's better look at that isn't he great now you're getting my tripod reflection but ah yeah he's done i'm so glad this project is done he's so cute so um let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below um I don't think I'm gonna sell them. I think I'm gonna keep them. Um, yeah, unless someone like really, really, really wants them, but I still think I'm gonna keep him. I just think he's my Juno. I know I should probably make one for Echo, but it was just way too much work. But um, I'd love to know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Um, I wonder if you can see, Maybe I should turn the camera around and give you a better close up, but you're still gonna get reflections. But let me try anyway, hold on. All right, maybe this is better actually, cause then I can show you guys. A yeah, actually you can. You see my reflection, woo. <laughs> All right, but look how cute he is. Isn't he adorable? I'm so happy with this piece. This was a very, very time consuming piece, um, but I'm glad I did it. And I had a lot of fun doing it, just very time consuming, that's all. But I would love to know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And I'm glad I painted the sides um, silver, you can see, because um, it just looks so much better. But yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. But yeah, isn't he cute? I think I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna hang him up in the um, like a wall somewhere in my home. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, and that is it for me for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.